Lots of apartment supply in Orlando, but also lots of jobs and lots of demand for apartments, helping boost fundamentals in the local apart market. Welcome to Apart Market Dynamics from MPF Research. I'm Jay Parsons with your Orlando update. New apartment supply is back around the peak levels we saw prior to the recession in Orlando, but demand has been even stronger, outpacing supply on an annualized basis in each of the past four quarters. So as you can see, occupancy rates have been strong up to 95.9% as of Q1. That's up a full 100 basis points year over year. And now you can see we've been right around that 96% mark for the last three quarters or so, marking the best rate that we've seen here since uh, the condo con conversion craze of the mid 2000s. And we're seeing strong occupancy rates really across the board amongst submarkets and product segments, all right around 95 to 97 percent. And with low vacancy rates comes improved rent growth. Same store rents for new leases improved 4.7 percent year over year. That's right on line with the U.S. average and also on par with the number that we saw one quarter ago. Uh, and as with occupancy rates, Orlando is seeing its best rent growth since 2006, almost a full decade. And for the most part, we're seeing good rent hikes across the market. Year over year hikes around 3 to 7 percent in most submarkets and in product segments. Uh, rent growth top, top 7 percent in three spots, East Orlando, the Winter Park Maitland area, and in North Lake County. There's one notable exception to the big rent growth. We'll touch on that in a moment. But first, let's talk about what's driving the overall momentum in Orlando, and it's the local economy. Orlando's job base has been expanding at a consistent annual clip of around 4% each month, a very strong pace, the best that we've seen in a decade. And what's especially encouraging is that job growth is no longer concentrated in just the tourism and hospitality industries uh, that, can, that have really driven the metro for the past few years. Those jobs tend to be a bit lower paying and thus could have a little bit less of an impact. We're still seeing good gains in those categories, but now we're also seeing strong progress in some higher paying categories, including financial activities and also professional business services. That accelerated job growth combined with all the same demographic uh, tailwinds that have boosted the apartment market nationally uh, have helped lift the overall apartment market and uh, kept demand as strong as it has been. And there's some additional good news on the way as well, which is that supply is going to slow down at least for a little bit. This chart shows you that in Q1, we're already down from the peaks we saw in prior quarters, and we're going to remain a bit lower for the next two quarters until reaccelerating at the end of 2015 and remaining elevated in the early part of 2016. Okay, and one submarket to highlight for you, we alluded to it earlier, one submarket that has not seen the big rent growth of late is the downtown north central Orlando area. The pattern of late has been volatile. This is an area that historically has had a very small apartment base. Only about 6,500 units existed uh, prior to 2014. We've added about 1,500 units since then, and another 2,200 plus are currently under construction, and more than that are planned. So demand has been strong. So you could see that occupancy remains very tight, but operators have paid for that by pricing rather conservatively. So that area will continue to see volatility. We're also seeing some uh, pretty large construction volumes in the south side of Orange County and on the east side of the county as well around the university area. Uh, all of those are strong demand spots. They should, be, uh, they should do well in the big picture. And of course, the assumption overall is that the job market remains strong. And assuming that remains the case, we think the outlook for the Orlando apartment market remains bright, performing roughly in line with U.S. averages. That's going to wrap us up for Orlando. So until next time, for Apartment Market Dynamics and MPF Research, I'm Jay Parsons. Thank you for watching. Want more? Go deeper with NPF Research's Apartment Market Reports. From a national level, down to individual metros, to specific neighborhoods, NPF Research has been providing unparalleled apartment market intelligence to the multifamily industry for almost five decades. Learn more by contacting us at 877-284-4938 or visit www.npfresearch.com and click on Market Reports.